Have you got the qualities to become a head chef at Lake Tahoe? Yes, yes, yes chef. chef. No, chef, I don't. You haven't? I don't. Take your jacket off and fuck off. All right, today I'll be going over every contestant who was gracefully ejected from Hell's Kitchen. Or, well, as many as I could fit into a single video. Either way, get ready for some of the most crazy meltdowns in the history of the show. Joseph, we're not at war, we're just in a kitchen. Just like this contestant right here. Chef! <laughs> Or in Jay's words, Hurricane Nilka just had an absolute category five meltdown. Yup, couldn't have said it better. So during the 10th service of season seven, Nilka handled the fish station. When the first order came in, Autumn let her start with the scallops and Nilka was pumped to impress Chef Ramsay. Here you go, Chef. Unfortunately, her scallops were undercooked and Ramsay pushed her to snap out of it. You, madam, wake up. I'm up, Chef. We start off like that, I'm gonna ride your fucking night. Let's go, madam. Yes, yeah? Chef. Later on, when Autumn sent her salads, Nilka wasn't prepared and her turbots arrived raw. Of course, the famous chef was really disappointed. That's raw, Nilka. But guess what she did? Instead of just fixing it, she threw it on the floor, giving Chef Ramsay the impression that she had given up. Man, it was simply not her night, huh? As things heated up, Nilka got more and more jittery, even with Jay trying to calm her down. Believe me, she was scared stiff about getting kicked out. Nilka, you got this. I got it. Just focus. I am. Bring it back. You got I don't want to go home. Then, when everyone else was ready with their dishes, she still hadn't got her lobster sorted. She rushed to grab it from the oven, but something happened. Nilka! <laughs> oh, fucking hell. The famous chef thought she'd thrown in the towel yet again. Despite his little pep talk, Nilka kept messing up, knowing that she was in deep trouble. I'm not, Chef. I'm trying to push, but I'm fucking up. I don't know why. I'm trying. Damn. Nilka's struggles continued when her lobster dish was sent back for having the wrong sauce. Oh, man. She was asking for trouble, wasn't she? This is what you bring me. Don't touch it. It's piping hot. Taste it. Come on. Oh, the wrong shit. Back in the pantry, Chef Ramsay confronted her about her performance. She admitted her frustration, but Chef Ramsay warned her that she needed to pull herself together or face elimination. That was a tough wake-up call for sure. I, I, I come here and I don't know why I'm crying right now. Get a fucking grip. Later, when Chef Ramsay called for the scallops, Jay jumped into action. After all, communication is paramount. I'm just so fucking mad at myself. It's cool, just take a deep breath. Thankfully, her scallops were accepted. However, her nerves got the best of her, and she faltered when Chef Ramsay requested the turbot. Unsure of the timing and unable to effectively communicate with Jay, Nilka found herself in a very challenging situation. Nilka, you ready? A few more seconds, all right? One second or 30 seconds. Talk to me. Yes, a few more minutes. When she sent her lobster to the pass, she hesitated. She wasn't even sure if it was ready. The famous chef, sensing her uncertainty, took the tray away from her to investigate it himself. As Nilka headed back to her station, she started to panic even more. Just let me do it, please. Just let me do it. Unfortunately, the lobster turned out just as she feared. Nelka! Yes, Chef? The lobster is raw. Put it down. I'm Look at me! Yeah. Look at me! Chef Ramsay was so done with her that he eliminated her on the spot, telling her to take off her jacket and just leave. Although she tried to plead with him, he stood firm in his decision. Nelka! Get out! I'm going! But Nilka wasn't ready to bow out just yet. She actually returned to the kitchen, hoping to convince Chef Ramsay to let her stay. I'm in the middle of service. Take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. Well, do you really think that would work? The famous chef first reminded her that they were in the middle of service, and it wasn't time to bring up unnecessary drama. But despite that, Nilka refused to leave. They're under pressure. We're under pressure. Take your jacket off and get out. I want to still cook and prove myself, Chef. This is my dream. This is my fucking destiny. And this is what I want. The famous chef's patience wore thin as she attempted to return to her station when the next ticket was called. This time, he firmly ordered her to leave, but she persisted. Get out! I want to cook! I can do this! Please! Finally, the famous chef asked Benjamin to escort her out personally, which he did. Anilka reluctantly left the kitchen. I can do this! You have to go. Chef tells you to go, you gotta go. Go, go, go! Get your jacket off and get out! But wait till you see what happened next. Chef Ramsay was pushed into making this decision. He actually wasn't happy about it. And this became evident when Ramsay was found beside a taxi cab waiting to see her off. Nilka was clearly disappointed in herself, but Chef Ramsay reassured her, acknowledging her performance, and of course, they hugged it out. You walk out of here with your head up high, continue doing, just following your dream, and say thank you. Thank you. Come here. 
I mean, look, this man might be tough in the kitchen, but he has proven time and time again that he genuinely cares about his chefs. Okay, moving on, here comes a contestant who was alienated from the red team thanks to Elise and Manda, the bullies who made him feel unwelcome. But let's be honest, his performance on All Stars wasn't simply up to par. Egg is up there, yes! Okay, where's my spinach? Wow. During his fifth dinner service, Josh was assigned to the garnish station. His first order was from the bar menu, but Manda advised him not to fry the fish and chips together to avoid making a mess with the batter. No, 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 you're gonna get batter everywhere. Yeah, I got it. You don't have to so... talk like that. However, when he disappeared for a while to fetch bowls for the fries, Chef Ramsay criticized him for slowing down and switching off. Come on! Hey, yes, Chef, have you switched off? No, Chef, I'm not. In spite of all that, though, Josh managed to get his bar food accepted. But don't you go and think that he was gonna completely course correct. Because the next thing you know, he lost track of the eggs needed for garnish. Take that and I'm gonna come yes. with this. Yes. You're done with it. Why is that a water? The famous chef was getting really impatient with how behind Josh was putting his team. To make things worse, Chef Ramsay was handed a plate of watery, garlicky spinach and runny mashed potatoes, courtesy of our friend Josh here. Following that, Josh shifted his focus to the lobster garnish. But sous chef Christina pointed out that the lobster wasn't even part of the order. I'm gonna do the lobster then, chef. What? The lobster what? What lobster? There's no lobster on! On the other hand, Manda was barking orders to prepare the mashed potatoes instead. And well, Josh was overwhelmed. Unsure of how to react, he snapped at everyone, asking them to stop yelling at him. But when Chef Ramsay caught Josh carrying ice-cold potatoes around, he was the one yelling this time. Hold that in your hand! The Wellington's in the window! Even though Josh insisted that he was giving it his all, Chef Ramsay shot back that it wasn't cutting it and booted him out of the service. On his way back to the dorms, he apologized to Ramsay for disappointing him and felt that his team was just plain toxic. But my team is toxic right now and they don't want me there and it really hurts. But once he actually got back to the dorms, Josh realized that he'd given up his whole life to just come back to Hell's Kitchen. And he wasn't about to give up so easily. Determined, he decided to head back into the Red Kitchen, vowing not to go down without a fight. What are you doing here? I need to be here, Chef. What are you doing here? However, his sudden return confused the Red Team. The famous chef then took him to the pantry, where Josh argued that he wanted another chance. However, Ramsay wasn't having it. Josh wasn't ready to be a head chef whatsoever, let alone Chef Ramsay's, and he decided it was high time that Josh realized that. You are not ready to become my head chef in Vegas. That is it. By the way, you won't believe what he's been up to now. I've covered some of his updates, including some of the controversies that he's caused in my latest video right here, so don't forget to check it out if you're dying to know all the dates. Up next, this elimination in season 12 was one of the toughest scenes to watch in Hell's Kitchen history. Please. You did please, chef, don't exceptionally don't, please. well. No, no, please. Rest in peace, Jessica. So Jessica was back for the final dinner service after being picked by Scott for his last choice. Last member of your brigade. Jessica. Jessica. First, during prep, she tanked his quality control. No, let's, no. let's start over. When the dinner service actually kicked off, Jessica's potatoes broke and ruined one of the entrees. Although Scott tried to give her a crash course on what to actually do, I guess she wasn't in the mood to listen. I don't even want you to saute them barely, okay? Awesome. Oh yeah, they need to be so fucking perfect. I need them perfect. I don't understand the, the big deal. Meanwhile, Keisha and Chris had to delay serving their entrees as Scott insisted on having the refired garnishes first. Finally, with the assistance of Rochelle, Jessica managed to get the refires accepted. Jessica, I need that bad. Jessica, not tonight. Rochelle, Jessica. as soon as you're done with those hot apps, I, I need you over here on, on garnish, please. But during the VIP order, Scott discovered that she served fries without mixing them first. Hey, this isn't even mixed. Oh, f me. Scott, see, nothing coming out. This is a f***ing mess. A big mess. When those soggy excuses for fries came out next, Scott knew what he had to do. Stop! Stop! Jessica, yeah. Don't talk to me anymore. I want you out. Yep, he kicked her out of the kitchen, not Chef Ramsay this time. See, Jessica had lost focus in the entire service. Having her around would only add to the problems that were already mounting. If you ask me, Scott made the right call, and thanks to that decision, as well as his excellent leadership in general, he eventually won the finals over Jason. But this next contestant fucked up so bad that it might have jeopardized Mary's finale in season 11. You don't need to prove me wrong right now, I'm telling okay, you something. got it. You treat me with respect, this yes, is my chef. kitchen. Yes, chef. Get it together. Yes, chef. 
I'm talking about Dan, who returned for the final dinner service after Barrett failed to show up. Uneasy about Dan. He too into himself. Somebody like that could sink us. Now, Mary hoped he would be a team player, but the dude ignored her instructions completely. The one thing about Dan is that are you trying to get him to do shit right? He tends to go, yeah, I know. John, suck it. Work on that. During prep, Dan grumbled about hating the prep work, and this really had her worried. The only person that I'm sort of worried about is Dan. His attitude sucks, and he's kind of a dunce. That was going to be far more accurate than either of them had bargained for. Now, he was moving way too slow for Mary's liking, and eventually, John got fed up with making the compound butter. It's butter, dude. What is so complicated about that? I'm gonna school him a little bit, but I'm gonna take over. See, Mary was quite clear. She warned Dan that she wasn't about to babysit anyone, least of all him. If it came to it, she would kick him out, no questions asked. But Dan was practically flying solo that entire night. Sometime later, when Mary reminded Dan to watch the sauce, he had the audacity to criticize her voice of all things. She sounds like a bag of cats. Hey, Dan, bring me my New York strips. I don't like this at all. You know what? F it. F you guys. He couldn't handle it and stormed out of the kitchen, completely abandoning his team. But instead of just cooling down, he strutted out of the patio for a smoke, acting all high and mighty about everything. Then suddenly, he had a change of heart and decided to grace the red kitchen with his presence yet again as a favor to Mary. When I really think about it, wasting all this talent would be a just shame. I guess I'll do Mary a favor and go back into the kitchen. But let me tell you, his grand return wasn't exactly welcome with open arms. This is typical Dan. Like, he's just a two-faced jerk. I've got eyes like a hawk, and I'm gonna watch Dan tonight. And she did. During the dinner service, Dan was manning the meat station. As Mary yelled orders to pick up the pace, he grew increasingly annoyed and just wanted her off his back. Uh, I know how to cook meat. I got this. Behind, behind, behind. Dude, it was her final night. You're supposed to listen to her. There's a reason she climbed her way to the finals and not you. Like, how tone deaf can this guy get, right? And all that confidence for what? He sliced into a New York strip steak and realized that it was rare. Oh, we're in here. Yeah. fire. He insisted that he knew how to cook meat, but the undercooked steaks just kept coming. Oh my gosh. And coming. Chip, I'm, I'm gonna stop it now, just touch that. Touch the top of the steak, it's not even hot. His third attempt was still cold, and Mary finally did the obvious thing and kicked him out completely. Damn, now we're screwed on those tickets because she has to reheat it from freezing cold. Now get out. Yes, chef. Yeah, she was so done with him and his attitude. She reassigned Nedra to the meat station, but the chaos that Dan left behind lingered as Nedra struggled to catch up. Dan decided to overcook all the steaks. Nedra! Chef, I, I got you, Chef. They were overcooked. I'm trying to get you one that's not... Despite Mary's efforts, she eventually lost the finals to Janelle. Dan could single-handedly be the reason why Mary loses Hell's Kitchen tonight, man. But I've always wondered, was it intentional sabotage? Personally, I can go either way on this one, so let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Now, something really similar happened in the All-Stars finale. Are you guys kidding me right now? Chef Ramsay kicked Robin out, and um, I fully agree with him, 100%. Robin, according to me, was the worst contestant. Why? Well, I've covered it in depth in my previous video of the worst chefs of each season, so make sure you don't sleep on it. Anyway, returning to the final dinner service, Robin was chosen as Benjamin's third pick. I feel pretty confident being on this meat station, you know, and I'm confident cooking fillets. Yeah, she's the poster child of misplaced confidence. Her fillet was sent up rare, prompting Chef Ramsay to inform Benjamin of the issue. After assessing the situation, Benjamin instructed her to lower the flame to prevent scorching the fillets. Touch that. Way under. Yeah. Robin! I need this play a little bit longer, it's, it's rare. Talks a big game about how she can cook some meat, and the next thing you know, she's sending up raw meat. She cray cray. Words of wisdom right there. Later, as she anticipated a five minute wait for the refire, Chef Ramsay intervened, instructing her to check the fillets now. These are too, they're too burnt. They're, That's they're, how they're, it's coming on. No, from. you gotta cook them on a lower flame. You have more going? Yeah. To his dismay, they were still raw, leading to the accusation of sabotaging Benjamin's service. No, Chef, I would never sabotage him! I don't wanna him. I'm not here to sabotage him. Right, you don't care. But when Chef Ramsay accused her of giving up, she, well, didn't take to it too kindly. Oh my God, I'm not gonna answer any more questions. Why not? Because everything I say is wrong, Chef. While her third attempt at fillets managed to pass muster, Chef Ramsay and sous chef jockey quickly noticed that the lamb was both gray and cold. Lamb chef. Is that gray now? Is it hot? 
It's not roasting hot, it's just like cold and Worse yet, she committed a carnal sin by using the same pan for the lamb chops as she used for the fillets. Did you just put the lamb into the pan where the beef came out of? Yes, because it was hot. Oh my god. Ramsay wasted no time in pulling her and Benjamin aside for the reckless mistake. And he straight up didn't want her in the kitchen anymore. I don't want to get out, please, chef. Get out. She pleaded with Benjamin to allow her back in and finish the service. Yeah, this girl didn't know when to bow out. And guess what? Benjamin caved. Let me finish strong for you. I want you to win. No more mistakes. Jump on with Barbie now. He shouldn't have though, but who knows? Maybe that's why he fell short in the finale against Michelle. Now, let's go on to the ninth service of season 13. They're all overcooked! I know, you're right. I'm sorry. Here we go. Despite his supposed years of experience with fish, Frank struggled on the fish station. He first failed to drop his scallops on time after sending out his lobster tail, and when they finally made it to the pass, they were overcooked. So heavily cooked one side, someone needs to eat this, not play fucking tennis with it. I love it. Nice retort, chef. Anyway, some time later, Frank's lobster tail suffered the same fate. What are you doing? Look at it! Yes, chef. I'm sorry. I apologize. Do you leave your brain in Vegas? The famous chef then gathered the red team in the pantry room for a good scolding. This is the payback. What's happening? I don't know, chef. I don't know what. It's overcooked! Right away, coming back at you. But when his next attempt at cooking scallops ended in the same failure, Latasha took over. Wait, the scallops? But he's standing there, he doesn't know where the shame or shampoo is. Let me do your scallop. Later, while preparing the entrees, Latasha noticed that Frank was flipping his salmon incorrectly and reminded him that it needed to be cooked skin side down. That salmon should stay on its skin. Look how soft the skin know, is, Frank. Come on, get the basics right, dude. And then, when Steven Tyler's order came in, Jennifer spotted a bunch of overcooked salmon on Frank's tray. Chef Ramsay was appalled to see what Frank was trying to hide. Bring me that tray. These are no good right here. What? They're all overcooked. To make matters worse, Frank sent out raw halibut, and the famous chef wasn't having it. Oh, you don't fucking care! It's this one! It's this one! Frank, what in the fuck is going on? During the debriefing, Chef Ramsay confronted Frank about the disastrous service. And what did Frank do? Surprisingly, he owned up to his mistakes, and even offered a sincere apology to everyone present. I just kept on trying to fight back, and I just, I fucked up my team. And I apologize to everyone here, including yourself and the customers. But Ramsay had had enough. He decided to bypass the nomination process and send Frank home right then and there. Say goodbye to Frank. The time has come. But hey, you have to agree, he was such a genuine guy. Thank you so much, Chef. What is that? I wanted to thank Chef from the bottom of my heart, and I just wanted to let him know I appreciate it. However, uh, he simply couldn't handle the stress. Now here comes another contestant from season 12 who seemed pretty confused about the orders that he was given. You're confusing yourself, yes chef. Get in the game, yes chef. Okay, so things got off to a shaky start when Gabriel was working on the scallops. I got one, 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 one set of uh, scallops, Jason, or two. But guess what? Gabriel went ahead and sent them up in spite of them not being called for. I'm gonna walk with the scallop. I'm like, whoa, 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 Gabriel, we don't need those. It's not even on this ticket. The famous chef couldn't figure out what he was up to. Blue team. Quickly, 30 seconds, come over. Come on, Kevin. Where is it, Chef? Where is it? 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 Later, during the 10 Tops appetizer order, when both teams brought their appetizers to the pass, Chef Ramsay quickly discovered how overcooked and rubbery his scallops were. What's that? Look at this here. How can I serve that? Get me out of all the tables. While he went ahead and served the incomplete order, gritting his teeth all the while, I'm sure Rochelle encouraged Gabriel to step up his game. Get it together. Let us know, Gabriel, if you need any help. Thankfully, Gabriel managed to redeem himself with a successful refire. As they moved on to the 10 tops entree order, Chef Ramsay cautioned Gabriel not to mess up like he did with the appetizers. My blood pressure's up now because Chef Ramsay's on my ass like a hawk. But look what he did. He ended up cooking the salmon and the halibut together in the very same pan. Chef Ramsay jumped right in to stop him in his tracks. One day, if you're lucky enough to own your own business, then you teach that bad practice. After the famous chef schooled him over the fish, Gabriel finally brought his salmon to the pass. But it wasn't up to par. Gabriel, I got salmon that's dry as anything inside. What's he doing? Fucking salmon. By the way, his second attempt wasn't any better. It's just soft as shit. Yeah. Hey, just touch that. Just touch the skin. In a heated moment, Chef Ramsay pulled Gabriel and Scott aside, chastising them for their lack of control. He questioned if they were ready to throw in the towel. But Gabriel wasn't willing to give up. He returned to his station, determined to redeem himself. Oh, I, I apologize, show me that. And your skin is soft, you too. 
You ready to go? No, no chef. chef! Wake up! Yes, Chef! Gabriel believed that he could turn things around, and his third attempt was finally accepted. You guys put this is searing right now. The stock is there. Gabriel, he's not listening to anyone. But in the very next order, he screwed up once again. What possibly could be wrong? The summer is fucking wrong. Chef Ramsay was fed up. He couldn't stand the sight of him in the kitchen any longer. Ramsay first declared that Gabriel's time in the competition was effectively over. But only a few seconds later, he did the unexpected. Young man, front door, get out! That was brutal. But just you wait, because what happened next was even more embarrassing. Listen, pleasure was ours. Thank However, you. I need you to check Talk about adding insult to injury, seriously. Was Gabriel really that bad? What do you think? Let me know in the comments section down below. Meanwhile, remember Kevin from season 20? What is going on? You, I'm get your apron off, get packed, and fuck off out! Get out! Yes, chef. That who's next sounded so ominous. See, usually there's some drama or at least a little bit of buildup before someone gets the boot, right? No confessional, no big moment, just bam, and he was out. And now, we can't forget the OG, right? Nothing's coming out. You're standing there and you're fucking useless. Sorry, chef. Yeah, do me a favor. Yes, chef. Take that off and fuck it up out of here. Get out! Get out! So Josh seemed all fired up to kick off the final five. I'm working apps tonight. I am confident in myself. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bro had no idea what was coming. The famous chef caught him jumping the gun a bit by cooking up a risotto before any orders even came in. Someone stop this guy. If you stop panicking, my man, how many fucking risottos are you doing up front? Ramsey was mad. After all, every extra dish meant money down the drain. We've opened, we haven't served anything yet, and we've lost money. What a fucking donut. To make matters worse, Chef Ramsay discovered that Josh had also cooked spaghetti without any orders for it. When asked if this was something that he did at his own restaurant, Josh denied it, passing it off as a little mistake. Do you cook spaghetti before the customer orders it? Never, Chef. So why are you doing it here? It was wrong. Get it in the bin! There's no doubt why he's considered one of the worst black jackets ever. Funnily enough, his relentless disregard for orders continued as he persisted in cooking spaghetti without any demand for it. Oh, believe me, Chef Ramsay's patience was wearing thin. Even the fucking dirtiest Italian restaurant in Venice Beach cooks spaghetti to order, you donkey. Anyway, an hour into the service, Josh's appetizers finally made their way out, only to be returned back to the kitchen. Risotto and a cocktail. Oh my god almighty. Safe to say, Josh was ruining the dining experience for the customers, and boy was Chef Ramsay pissed about it. Leave the jacket and get out! Get out! Fed up with his consistent blunders, Chef Ramsay wasted no time in giving him the boots right then and there. Give me the jacket! I'm giving Give me the fucking jacket! And you used suck a shit! Get out! Wow, that was crazy. But hey, you have to give it to Josh. At least he handled it gracefully. You can't say the same about a lot of others. I would have given my right arm to stay in the service and keep fighting. I came here with a dream to win. Now, here's who I think should have been eliminated mid-service. There's 23 on board, Chef. So what? Why are you cooking them now? They're overcooked. Yes, yeah, Chef. There's no system. I can't keep on telling you every f***ing service. Oh, man. She was a colossal screw-up. Add Elise and Brendan from Season 9 into that for being caught lying, and Zach in Season 11 for sabotaging Ray, and yeah, these people deserve to be kicked out. But who else do you have on your mind? Make sure to drop those names in the comments section down below, and I'll make sure to feature them in my upcoming videos. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to visit my social media pages, drop a like, subscribe, and turn on my post notifications if you haven't already. And if you thought this video was crazy, then wait till you see my next one right here, since it's even better.